Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you're going to put your grid onto your final photo that you'll be drawing for your portrait project. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the grid hashtag app, that green G, and you'll see it's a blank white page to start. In the top right, you'll see a green camera. Click that camera and that'll take you to your photographs. You're going to find that photo that you edited. It should be in black and white and it needs to be a square. So I'm going to choose this photo here of myself. And typically that first grid that it puts on there is a three by three grid. That means three rows, three columns. We don't want that. So we're going to click in the top left with those lines and the little spheres on there up into the settings. You'll see under grid type, I'm going to increase the row to seven. Everyone will be doing a drawing that is seven inches wide and seven inches tall. So we'll have seven rows and seven columns. Down below, you'll see where it says line width. We're gonna lower that to a two. That's gonna give us a nice thin line of our grid and again, Double check, make sure your rows are seven and your columns are seven. When you have this done, you need to click back. That is what will actually set the grid onto your image. If you want, you can count across, make sure there's seven rows across, seven columns tall. You're, again, I can't stress this enough, your image needs to be seven by seven and it needs to be a square. These proportions are extremely important for our picture to look accurate as we're drawing. So I decided to do my full face, my eyes, my nose, my mouth for this image. Um, I like the way this looks, I'm happy with it. So I'm going to tap and hold in the center of the screen. I'm going to save grid and image. You do that. You'll probably get an ad to pop up, just close out of that, but then it will say image saved, okay. When we go into our photos now, you'll find there's my image with my grid saved. This is what it should look like when you are ready to go. I'm going to show you also what this would look like if you chose a picture that was just your um, face wearing a mask. So same exact thing, go to grid, again, go to the camera, go to your photos. I'm going to choose this image now instead. Again, all this does is it just makes things a little larger so I can see more of that detail. Again, to change your uh, rows and columns, that top left corner, make sure your rows are at seven. This number that I'm sliding right now needs to be seven. Columns need to be seven. The line width. Again, I like two. You could make it slightly wider or make it all the way down to one. And then again, to save this, you need to hit back. That is what will save that image for you. And then when you're done, again, tap and hold, save grid and image, get rid of that ad that will pop up and it will say image saved. And when I go to my photos, there's my image ready to draw, seven by seven. Thanks guys. Let me know if you have any questions.